Okay guys, so today we're going to start putting together our collagraph. Now we've studied uh, stained glass windows, especially the rose windows because they're radial design. So that's what we're uh, gonna be honing in on. Now in your packet, I gave you two boards that are, that are real hard, real stiff. They're the same board as your, as your uh, the big board that I gave you to work on. So you have two like that, and then you have one that's bigger. So for this first initial color graph, I want us to, to work on a little one. So also in your pack, what you're gonna need is you've got some scrap board. I think I just put some scraps that are in there. You may even have some lighter scrap boards like a poster board. That'll work because you can cut that with scissors. You also have a mat knife in your kit. So you can cut with the knife, but don't do that unless you really know how to use that knife. Otherwise, just stay away from anything that's where you need a knife and just use your scissors. So what I instructed you to do on Thursday was to start cutting out some shapes. So I've cut out several of these little shapes out of some cardboard. And then if you ha eat cereal, the cereal boxes are good. So I cut up out a bunch of shapes with the cereal boxes. If your uh, parents use bounce for their washer and dryer stuff, you can use those, any kind of cardboard you can use. I also gave you some yarn, so you can use yarn and you can even use glue to, to build up your surface too. So I'm gonna be explaining that. So now I've got my little pieces. I've got my board. Let me get that board. And now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start gluing my shapes together and creating a rose window. I like to also place the items down first before I actually glue so that you know what you want your design to look like. I'm using the color side of the uh, of the cereal box just so I can see it. We're going to cover it all up with foil, which yes, I put foil in your pack too, so you have foil. I want to lay it out so I can decide exactly how I want it. I'm afraid that might be a little bit too thick compared to everything else. But what I can do is I can double up on these so that they'll be thicker. So I want to build the surface up. I think I'll put two of these, since these are so thin, I think I'll put two of them on top of each other, like that. So it's, it's almost, it, I, know we're, I know we're talking about stained glass windows and we're talking about uh, radial designs, but I, I could kind of see a flower going on too here. If I need more pieces, I have to cut more pieces because that's all I've got. I, I'm at my end, so I'm going to have to cut some more. I know I want another circle right here. And uh, I don't know if it'll fit right there. That's kind of off. But I know I'm, I'm going to need some more right there. So let me cut these and make these a circle.
if you've got cloth at home, thick cloth that's just like leftover, especially like jean material or something that's thick, you can use that. You can use some yarn and you can use glue itself, which I'm gonna do on this design, but first I'm gonna start gluing these down. So I've got two of these. Kind of put them on there. I'm gonna offset them too. I kind of like the idea of offsetting them. Now, a collagraph is sort of like your monoprint, except for you've got uneven surfaces, that raised surfaces. So now I think, now you can use your yarn. You can use other things around your house that you might find that'll help raise that surface. You can cut different shapes out. I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this glue. And remember I said it's like a stained glass window and you know how stained glass windows has those, those lines throughout them to separate their sections. I'm gonna do that with the glue and I'm gonna let it dry just like that. So I'm gonna kind of make a design with the glue. Down here, I want to do something 
Let's see, I want to cover these up like that. Now I'm just going to make some lines here. Now I'm just going to let that dry. Can't do anything now while it's wet, so it's got to dry. So till next time, I'll show you what I'm going to do next.